Good morning, everyone. I'm Claire Beringer, CEO of Beringer Aero. Thank you for following us on uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while since we haven't recorded any movie, but we are back to it. Uh, so you'll see more videos coming. And please make sure to follow our channel to be aware of the latest development from Behringer. Today, we are going to talk about our latest technology, uh, brake technology, called Aerotech Plus. Uh, Aerotech technology has been existing for more than 20 years. Well, actually, it's been uh, implemented first on a brake in 1985, so a while ago, uh, on uh, motorbike and, uh, and car brakes. Uh, so the technology that we are using today on aviation brake uh, comes from that world. Uh, and since then, uh, we have made a lot of improvements on our brake system to improve your safety and our braking performance. Uh, so the technology that we are presenting today uh, is a little bit different depending on the brake family. So we'll, we're going to review uh, by family of brake, what's new, what's the advantages, uh, and what uh, helps our brakes to perform better. The Aerotech Plus technology uh, gathers four international patents uh, that we have applied for two years ago. And the four patents are a new brake disc material uh, to be able to uh, withstand higher temperatures, a new brake pad uh, backplate material uh, for the same reason. Uh, you'll see cooling fins on the brake pad backplate uh, to be able to withstand higher temperatures as well. Uh, and you are going to see on the new, newest brakes uh, an offset on the linings. So the brake pads are going to be asymmetrical, uh, allowing a better uh, um, surface of contact between the pad and the disc, because we may have seen some uneven wear on the uh, old technology of brakes, uh, and with that new technology, uh, the surface of contact is going to remain flat uh, for the whole life of the brake pad. It's this uh, little uh, brake with two pistons that is typically mounted on light sport, light or glider aircraft. Um, we are using uh, three of the patterns that I described before. Uh, new brake pad uh, backplate material, new disc material, and the heat cooling fins. All the new brakes that are being sold today uh, are with this new technology. The old brakes right here are, are being stopped. So if you are uh, an owner of this type of brake, brake pads and brake discs are still going to be available, of course. But if you are uh, receiving this new brake technology, the brake pads and the discs are going to be completely different. So we really have two lines of product that live separately. Um, the new brake also includes two different types of disc thickness uh, for different use. The thicker disc uh, for higher energy is going to be mounted on fast light sport, uh, VL3, Dynamic, uh, Glassstar, um, this type of aircraft. And while the, the thinner disc is going to be mounted on slower aircraft, uh, Cup style, uh, Ninja, uh, lights, flights, cools. Well, for this family, there are uh, many advantages. Uh, the first being higher performance at high temperatures. Uh, so you won't have any problem with uh, uh, the liquid boiling and losing your brakes. Um, you can also change your brake pads e more easily uh, since the brake pads are completely symmetrical while they weren't on the old model. Um, and also the life of the brake pads is being increased. We have made our uh, best to keep this new brake uh, affordable. So we have increased our brake price by only 10%. Uh, 
these brakes are typically mounted on Sirius aircraft, Diamond aircraft, uh, Technam aircraft. Uh, these are certified and also used for experimental, but mainly for certified. This new brake uses three of the patterns that we have applied for. Uh, the first being the new brake disc material. The second being the new brake pad back plate material. And the third being the new cooling fins on the brake pad back plate. All these patterns uh, improve the brake at high temperature. So it allows you to go further in terms of energy and, uh, and brake fluid boiling point. we have decided to do a partial redesign for this brake. So the brake pads and brake discs that are being implemented right now on the new brakes can be uh, retrofitted on the uh, old brakes. So if you, if you are an owner of an old brake, you still can buy the new brake pads uh, from Aerotech Plus Technology uh, uh, and the new disc, of course. Um, so we have three different types of brake pads available for this new brake. The legacy brake pad called PQT-010, um, the standard brake pads uh, called PQ-110.2, don't ask me why, and the third uh, brake pad being PQ-110.1 uh, 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 called Pro Elite uh, brake pads. Uh, the legacy and the standard brake pads have more or less the same performances, while uh, the standard brake pads can also withstand higher temperatures than the legacy. Uh, the Pro Elite brake pads, which is a new uh, family of brake pads that we are implementing, uh, uses a different lining material and allows you to increase your uh, brake pad lifetime by three or four times while being only two times more expensive than the standard brake pads. So it is, this is really interesting for flight schools or people that have an intensive use of the brakes. Uh, that option, as well as the standard, are also retrofitable on the uh, legacy brakes, like I said. Um, while the new brakes being produced right now only use either the standard or the Pro Elite brake pads, you have to specify what type of brake pads you want to be mounted on your brake when you are placing an order for uh, these new brakes. Uh, the standard is, like its name, uh, the standard, and the Pro Elite is an option. we have done our best to keep our pricing as low as possible. Uh, so the standard brake pads are only $15 more than the Legacy, while the Pro Elite are twice the price of the standard. It is exactly the same. A few grams, ounces, uh, maximum, uh, but this new design actually optimizes uh, uh, the weight of the brakes. So, no less here. All those changes are available right now, so please do not hesitate to contact us uh, if you have any question, if you want to see more, uh, know more about, uh, please follow this link uh, to have more information about advisories and service burdens, especially on the certified break. And please, please don't forget to uh, like our YouTube channel uh, for more information. Thank you everyone, have a good day.